Oh man, what do I say about this build? It's like... I don't know. Let me just show you. Let's go! Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking to become a full-time content creator and you just don't know how or you're looking for advice, I've actually created another channel called Caliber Gaming where I'm just gonna share all of my experience over the last three or four years. So go over there, check it out. I don't have any content posted as of this video, but I've got about three or four videos in the queue that are gonna be posted soon. So go over there and subscribe if you're looking for that type of information. Keep in mind, you can always send me questions about YouTube if you're an aspiring content creator. All right, let's get into this build. All right, welcome to the BMW X6. Now, I know that this is not a car that's on everybody's radar. In fact, I don't think I've seen this other than one time, and that was by a viewer that actually turned me on to the build. So, I mean, he didn't give me the build, but he turned me on to the car. And I'm excited about it because I don't even really know what to categorize this build as. Like, it's... It's kind of a mesh between a drift build and a grip build, and it's actually fast. I'm like speechless, like I, I have a loss for words, I don't even know what to call it, but it's actually good. I just ran a 155 on Drifter's Delight. Now I know that's not like the fastest time, but like it's super fast for a big body SUV. Like I ran a 154 with an F40 or 153 with Actually, I ran a 153 with the F40, I take that back. But still, it's only two seconds off the F40 on Drifter's Delight? Now that's crazy. Now I know I can probably improve that F40 time, but that's my recorded time as of right now. I'm just, I'm blown away by this. So let me show you the build real quick. So we've got the stock engine. Easy enough, you don't have to switch anything, doesn't cost you as much money to build this car. Parts, we're leaving the first three as sport. We're gonna change the exhaust to super, we got the Elite Screw Supercharger, the Sport Nitrous, and then Elite Road Suspension, the Stock Sport Brakes, and then the Elite Grip Tires. You've got a clutch that is super, and then a six-speed gearbox with a Elite Differential, and then of course NOS Drift and NOS Grip. That's what you're looking at. And then as far as the handling goes, it's 100% grip, and I know that I said it was a little in between, but I'm telling you, this car feels like a drift build, but it's actually not. And I think this is important. You gotta have your downforce all the way up and then drift entry. I think it's important to have some gas. Now you can go full gas, no brake tap. I actually prefer both because I like the ability to hit the brake tap during the corner just to like slow down, but also to drift. So I do both, but that's totally up to you. I think gas entry has to be there at some point because this is gonna be like a semi drift build, all right? Even though it's 100% grip, it's still a little bit drifty. So let me take this on drifters and see if I can actually beat that 155 time. That's my goal right now. I wanna beat 155 and then on Skyline Sprint, I wanna see if I can't get somewhere in the 152, 53, 54 range. So let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. First attempt, let's get it. Now the manual start is obviously a lot faster than that, but you'll see this baby start flying. Here we go. This is not going to be a good entry in this first one. Ah, uh, see, it blocked the drift. Come on, Harlow. God. All right. The start on this race is so frustrating because you need a little bit of space between you and the cars. You need to get it side... It sounded like a truck, but I think it was a Mustang. I don't even know that came through on the mic or not, but Jesus. You need to get a little sideways to hit that checkpoint. And you need to do it at the last moment because you want to keep your speed up before you hit your burst to get across the grass. But it's just not working out for me. Let me try again. All right, that was not ideal. Also not ideal. Oh, 
You also don't want to catch air there. I'm doing so good so far. That was a lucky cop spawn. Let's see if I can capitalize. Come on, man. And I have no more restarts. Gotta restart the save. Be right back. Here we go. Oh, I think this is a good start. Here we go. I don't feel like I'm racing this very well. I'm definitely not. The game is freaking out too. Getting like weird pauses here. I wonder if that's coming through on the recording. Yeah, I'm like losing frames or something. What the hell is happening? I think I need to change it to full screen. No way, dude! No! <laughs> what was that run? 152! Dude! That was such a trash run. I feel like I make so many mistakes there. How did I get a 152? I How? I gotta write it down. Well, that was easy, I guess. Let's move on to Skyline Sprint. Here we go, Skyline Sprint. I don't think this should take more than one attempt. This is a straight race. And uh, as long as I do my job and not hit any traffic, we'll be all right. Whoa! Dispatch, where are the tails of those suspects? Hope you don't mind me coming through. Good thing I have 10 restarts. What am I doing, bro? I just wanted to get close to him to get the near miss. And this guy just wants to swerve. I think my hat is making my brain too smushed. I think that's what the thing is. It's the hat. It's not me. It's the hat. Please don't swerve, dude. Please don't swerve. Please don't swerve. Ah! The question is, do we leave this cop alone? Or do we keep going for it? We keep going for the thing. I'm going for it. You can stay over there, dude. I give up. Okay. Okay. 54. 54 is not bad. Not bad at all. My F40 build does 54, but the F40 is sort of a short track build, so it's not like the worst. You're not dead in the water with a 54. There's a lot of other cars that can beat that, so if you go online and there's someone with a faster straight line car or a better car for speed races, you're gonna lose to them. 
but if they crash, you're definitely not gonna lose to them. Unless you crash. But I don't crash. I never crash. I didn't crash at all in this one, so. All right, let's see where this ranks. All right, so when you combine those two times that I just ran, this X6 has a 346.84. 346.84 on my A plus leaderboards for those two courses and the combined time, that actually ranks it at number four overall. There's only three builds that are faster right now. Now I think I need to go back and test some of these builds because driving and building meta has changed quite a bit over the last two weeks. And I might be faster with this car now than I would have been two or three or four weeks ago. So let's just be honest here. But nonetheless, here are the cars that are below this X6 on my A plus leaderboard right now. The 2000 Honda Civic, the F40, Skyline 2000 GTR, the 911 Carrera RSR. That's four of very, very good cars in A plus. And those times that those cars posted were actually worse than this X6. Like, dude, what? I honestly can't even believe this. I need you guys to go out and test this X6. Take the build that I showed you earlier in the video. Go test this car. Have fun with it. Tell me what your experience is in online lobbies. Or if you already know about this car, please tell me your experience. Because I happen to think that this X6, when driven by maybe a professional, someone really really good at the game it might be insane like it might be a really good car now real quick before i end the video i want to shout out luigi rko luigi is the one that did the engine testing for this car so he's the one that dialed in these builds it's just something that i can't say thank you enough about uh to him and also to all the jaeger hunters for you know constantly providing me with good information on the game i really appreciate it. i realize that there aren't a ton of competitive people still playing the game i know there's a lot of you out there that aren't playing the game but man this thing has got me excited actually i want to go to multiplayer right now and go stomp on some people with an x6 dude i can't even believe it it handles so well uh it's fast fast man anyway go check it out thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it shout out to all the heat five members of the channel i will catch you on the next one figure out